they got creative. Yes. And while everybody else was worried about what outfits to wear, you were... Yeah, everyone's trying to figure out what type of shoes to wear, what outfits, outfits to wear, and I was trying to figure out what kind of feet to wear. <laughs> I ended up wearing four different pairs of feet. None of them were made for dancing. There's not any dancing feet out there that are made for the salsa or made for the rumba. So I ended up really creative. Now you can have any sort of dancing feet. really a set of circumstances beyond your control to reimagine the life you wanted. And uh, was there a time, though, when you knew your legs were going to have to come off? Yeah, I, I definitely knew. I had time to uh, prepare. I had a couple weeks to prepare. Okay, so that you knew they were going to come off and you felt sorry for yourself. I did, absolutely. Well, for one, I mean, after I lost my legs, that's when it got hard. That's when I had to go home and try to figure out how how I fit into the real world and, and my new life. And I, I hit a point, it was hard for me to, to visualize what my life was going to be like with these hunks of hardware out of my life. And I was so depressed and I was so overwhelmed. But it was those moments that prompted me to ask myself a really important question. If my life were a book and I was the author of that book, how would I want this story to go? And that question allowed me to daydream again. And I visualized myself walking gracefully. And I saw myself somehow helping other people through my journey. And I saw myself snowboarding again. And I didn't just see myself carving down this mountain of powder. I visualized it so strongly that I could actually feel it. I could feel the wind against my face. I could feel the beat of my racing heart as if it was happening in that very moment. And that is when a new chapter of my life began. Wow.